In this video, I'll show you how to lower your feet, choose the proper route, and also when to choose that route to have the maximum edge in the market. So as usual, all the best tools will be linked in the description. Don't forget to check that out. Let's get right in. The first thing we're going to do is break down the difference between the tiered commission and the fixed. This is pretty important if you're going to be active, but if you're just an investor or like a swing trader, this might not be as useful to you. But if you're active, I think the tiered version is just going to be better. There's a few reasons why is the minimum order between the, the two. If you're trading something that's expensive, like a Tesla or a micro strategy, which are sometimes like 500 bucks or a thousand dollars or now an Nvidia, what's going to happen is you don't often take 500 or a thousand share at a time. You often take a couple hundred shares. So if you're using the fix, you're always going to be paying the top dollar for your trade, which is going to be a dollar minimum. The maximum is always going to be the same thing, which is pretty standard all across the board. So first of all, this is why I prefer the tiered factor, but there's going to be a caveat to it and something that's really important to understand. And it's how to maximize this strategy by using this tiered way. So first of all, depending on your volume, I trade small caps. So I cross the 300,000 share per month pretty often because when things are really cheap under a dollar or under two dollars or even five dollars this number goes out very quickly so i'm often in that range so already there i'm gonna pay a cheaper amount than if i'm paying the fixed amount so over here what we have is some level two and there's two different situations so this is going to be situation a which is going to be a tick book. So something that has a lot of exchange, you can see BATS, NASDAQ, NASDAQ, EDGEX, MEMEX, ARCA. And then the same thing on the offer. We have a lot of liquidity and the spread is only one penny. Over here, we have a different situation. You have NASDAQ over here, you have EDGEX, pardon, and then you have NASDAQ and then you have ARCA all the way down here. And then you have ARCA all the way here. And then you have EDGEX here. And then NASDAQ here. So you can see that the market maker or the exchange that you're trying to get, if you example, deciding to choose ARCA as a route, is going to be pretty bad because you can go buy the offer at 277. Then if you try to sell on ARCA, you're going to get 259 which is a big loss for absolutely nothing because there was a better price. You could have got it at 264. In a scenario like this, if you're using ARCA because there's so much liquidity on the book, you're getting ARCA here, you're getting ARCA there. So the route that you choose in this situation is not going to really matter. And this is going to be important because it's going to change the commission structure or the way you execute trade when I break down the structure right after. So, in this scenario here, what I like to do is really use the smart route. What it's going to do is if I go to pay for the offer, it's going to get me something on EdgeX because it's going to reroute to the best price as possible. And then if I want to sell, it's going to sell me here at 264 on this. And I don't have to choose EdgeX or NASDAQ or ARCA. It's going to get me either in between the spread. So between 264 or 276 in the between, it's called the mid market or it's going to get me the worst price, which is going to be that 264. Or if I'm buying the 276, that's right here. I'm not going to be paying ARCA at 277 or ARCA here at 259 to sell. Same thing here. If I go to smart, smart route, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay either 218 or 217. And sometimes you get prints in the mid, which is going to be in between these price. This is when you have these long prints on your execution because it's hitting the mid because there's liquidity between on the dark pool. In scenario A, I don't really care which route I'm using because there's just so much liquidity. And this is often going to happen when the market is open. Scenario B, what we have is a dangerous level two to trade on just one exchange because you can really take a big loss just by not looking at the level two. So for me, when I'm trading in the pre and the post market, it's really important that I use the smart route Otherwise, I get really screwed if I don't pay attention. So what I do in the pre-market is always put my route on the smart route. And then when the market is open, I generally leave it there within my hotkeys. Or sometimes I'll change it depending on if I'm adding liquidity. 
And this is what we're going to be breaking down next. Sorry for the interruption, but if you're getting value from this video and you're learning about how to improve your feed, don't forget to like, subscribe. I also did link all the best tools to day trade in the description. Let's get back to the video. So now that you see the two level two that we had, the example, it's going to make a lot more sense. So if I'm paying always the fixed structure, which is over here on the on this category, the fix, it's going to be here, the fix. What I'm paying is always 0 0.005 and there's not really fees. So every 100 share, you're going to pay 50 cents. Every 50,000 share, what you're going to do is $250. And this doesn't matter which route you use. You can use the smart route. You can use Arca. You can use EdgeX. You're just going to always pay that, which is somewhat expensive because you can actually pay less in doing it a bit differently. So what I do over here is I have a structure for take and a structure for add. Taking liquidity means you're using a market order, you're buying on the offer, you're selling on the bid, you're shorting the bid, or you're covering on the offer. If you're crossing the spread, that means it's gonna be taking liquidity. Market order are always gonna be taking liquidity because I got that question so often. So when you're taking a market order, what is gonna happen is you're gonna pay full price. When you use the tiered structure, tiered structure right over here, and then you use the smart route, you're always going to pay this cost of like 0 0.005. It's sometimes going to be less. But for the most part, you're never going to pay more than this to buy a stock or to sell a stock. I haven't seen it. This is really what you're going to be getting, this or lower. When you pay on ARCA, or NASDAQ or EdgeX, it's going to be different. You're going to pay commission, which is the commission that you're going to see over here in this example, but you're also going to pay exchange fee to use that route. So to know how much are the exchange fee, this is where it is. You click on the exchange and then you have, if you're looking at NASDAQ greater than or equal to a dollar, removal liquidity, this is what you're going to get charged. To add liquidity, you're going to get a rebate. When you add liquidity to a book, what it's going to do, it's good because it makes the book deeper, thicker. So that means they're going to pay you for posting an offer. So that means when you post an order. So in the tiered structure right over here, you have ARCA. And then ARCA, your commission, this is from IBKR, is going to be 0.035. And then you're going to have also the fee for the ECN to use ARCA. So your total is going to be 0 0.065 or for every $50,325. Then NASDAQ is going to be the same price. EdgeX is going to be the same price. The only preference I have most of the time in the pre-market or the post-market is going to be ARCA because there's always or almost always liquidity. When I'm trying to post something, I get filled a bit better. In this scenario over here, we can see that this cost over here is more expensive than the fixed structure. So if you're someone that's always going to be buying on the ask, selling on the bid or shorting the bid and covering the ask or using market order, you can see here that for you, the fixed structure is just better because you're going to pay less. This could be different if in a scenario that you're using a commission structure of zero. 0.02 then you're going to be paying the exact same thing over here so then you would be better to go in that structure to at least get a rebate but if you're someone that's going to be sometime adding liquidity that means you send an order out you wait a bit then it gets picked up this is where the tier structure really start to work better this is tiered when you take liquidity that means you cross the spread this is going to be when you add liquidity. So as we said over here, NASDAQ, for example, on the ARCA exchange, any NASDAQ stock, if you add liquidity, you're going to get a rebate. So when you look at this, you say, hey, my commission is 0 0.035. If I add a liquidity, I'm only going to pay a total of 0 0.0015 for my total cost of this transaction. And if you're trading 12,500 shares, it's only 1875 versus 325. It's a really, really big difference. So for me, the way I save on commission and lower my fee is very simple. When I'm paying the offer, so I'm buying on the ask, 
I'm going to use smart. When I'm selling on the bid, I'm going to use smart because I'm taking liquidity. So I don't want to pay more than I should. And this is going to be the max that I'm going to pay for that transaction. So it's going to be 0 0.05 or something like 250 for every 50,000 shares. Every time I take, it's going to be the 0, 0 0.5, even if I'm using the fix, just because I'm using the smart route. And this is going to help me because in a scenario like this, because I do trade a lot pre-market and post-market, I'm not going to take a big loss over here because if I'm using Arca, I'm going to pay 277 to get in. Then I want to get out 259. I'm just losing a ton of money. Uh, just by trying to use Arca, which is going to be a bad decision for me. When I'm using Smart, I'm going to get this price at top. I'm also going to get this price over here. So technically on the trade, even if I'm paying maybe a bit more in commission or the same, I'm improving my price. So if you're using 50,000 share, for example, and you're getting a better price, this is a lot of money saved. And the different scenario or how I fully execute transaction is when I'm taking, as I said, I'm going to use the smart route. But when I'm adding or I'm exiting a trade, because sometimes a trade is working well, you have time, you send order at a specific price. What I'm going to do over here is I'm going to send order out on Arca, NASDAQ, or EdgeX at the price that I want to get executed because it's going to be cheaper than just taking liquidity and I'm not in a rush to get out of the trade. So this is going to be the max that I pay for a trade and this is going to be what I pay to exit a trade when a trade is working. So as a total, as a whole, I'm going to pay less in fees than if I'm just using a fixed structure or over here, I'm just taking an liquidity on Arca, NASDAQ or EdgeX all the time. So in this example, 50,000 shares, 50,000 shares over here, day volume commission, 250 bucks. If I'm trading 50,000 share in the tiered structure, ARCA 0.35 for the commission, then fees 0.03, total commission 3.25. So the better option for me is to take, you know, 50,000 share on smart. And as soon as I can, maybe execute a quarter of this transaction on something like ARCA over here or EdgeX because it's going to save me some money. So this is just how I do it and also why I use smart route. And sometimes I'll have Arca and NASDAQ and EdgeX in my execution, just a way to improve my price, my total fees, and to maximize my edge in the market by getting as fast as possible in the stock without having to pay a bad price to get in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe. Peace.